Hi, this is Dean with Dean's Window Cleaning, and today we're going to talk about how to remove a screen from a typical house window. So, the first thing that you're going to want to know about how to remove a screen is how the screen works. So, with most typical house windows, the screen is going to have a tension or a spring side, which is going to be on the top in this case with, it, with this window that's at the top and then you have a pull tab side it's going to be the opposite side of the spring so if you see that the pull tabs are on this side at the bottom then you know that the tension springs are going to be at the top the way to remove those is you have to put tension pushing those springs up and what that does is there's a lip down here that holds the spring in place. By releasing the tension, it allows this bottom lip, where normally those pull tabs is where you pull to release the tension, it allows it to pass over this bottom lip and be removed. Today I chose this screen because this screen is a, a very tight fit screen. So it's a little trickier than your typical window screen to remove. So today I'm going to show you how to remove a tight fitting screen without putting any damage to the screen or to the frames and without doing any bending to it and then it'll come out very nice and smooth and it'll have a good end result. So the first thing that you're going to want to have is the proper tools. What I use is a very small, it's a, a flat profile paint scraper or a putty knife. And it has good flex. It's, it's stiff, but it has a little bit of flex. And you're going to want to use a tool with a hook on it. I use a paint can opener because it's also a low profile that allows you to slide in and grab the, the edge of the screen. So what you're going to want to do first is take a look at the screen and see that there's a gap on either side that allows you to get your paint can opener in to hook the screen. If there isn't, you can push it to one side, creating a gap. So this side, we see the gap is on this side. So what you do is take your putty knife and you're gonna wanna push on the very top part where the spring is releasing the tension. You're not gonna wanna push on the screen, but you're just gonna wanna gently push up on the frame, the top frame, and that releases the tension. And when you do that, you're going to take your putty knife and put it up under the bottom corner. You wouldn't want to put it in the middle because it's an aluminum frame and it's weak. But by putting it in the corner, you're using the tension of this rod on the side frame and it doesn't put any stress on it. So start by pushing up and then slide your putty knife into it, allowing the frame to stay up and not drop down below that lip. Then you take your paint can opener, and that's where you slide it in gently and allow it to hook on the edge of the, the screen frame. And then you bring it down to the corner, and again, by putting the pressure on the corner, you're putting the pressure on the frame as opposed to putting it in the middle of this frame so that prevents any bending to occur. And when you have both tools in, you just gently pry on each one, wiggling them back and forth, the corner will pop out. Now your next step is to hold this corner because the tension is still here because half of this bottom screen is still in that groove. So what you do is while holding this corner just gently push up and work the bottom frame out of that groove. And then what you're going to want to do grab your paint can opener and when there's a gap on this corner you just gently slide that paint can opener in there, hold this bottom screen, and just gently pull that last corner out. And there you have it. Your screens come out. There's no bending, no damage has been done. Keeps the homeowner happy. And now you're able to continue in your process to clean the window and the window frame.